Hi guys, and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to take a close look at the Newfoundland dog breed. Before we go on, don't forget to like and share if you really enjoy our content. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when we post more dog-related content. Also, if you're struggling to train your dog or are thinking about getting a puppy, then affordable online professional training is what we suggest. See the link in the description and the pinned comment for more info. Origin and History The Newfoundland was originally bred and used as working dogs for fishermen in Newfoundland, an island off the east coast of Canada. They were named in 1775 by George Cartwright and are called, Newfie, for short. Newfoundlands are known for their giant size, intelligence, tremendous strength, calm dispositions, and loyalty. The Newf is said to be a cross between the Tibetan Mastiff and American Black Wolf. They excel at water rescue, life-saving because of their muscular build, thick double coat, webbed paws, and swimming abilities. It is still used in Newfoundland and Labrador as a true working dog, pulling carts or carrying burden as a pack horse. In the 18th century, the Newfie was sent into Britain and France and quickly became popular with the English sailors as a ship dog. The breed is also closely related to other Canadian retrievers like the Labrador and the Nova Scotia Duck Tolling Retriever. Today the breed is kept as a family dog, yet they still work as search and rescue dogs with police and firemen. The Newfoundland was recognized as a breed by the AKC in 1886. First, let's look at the pros, calm and kind temperament, referred to as a gentle giant. Excellent search and rescue worker. The breed size is enough to intimidate strangers. They do not bark a lot. Newfie can tolerate very cold weather. In fact, they love the cold, water and snow. Drafting dog used to pull carts and sleds. Have strong guardian instincts and are excellent with children. Sociable with both humans and animals. Now, let's take a look at the some cons. Not an ideal dog for apartment life. High maintenance coat, double coated and waterproof, grooming is necessary. Requires lots of exercise and mental stimulation. Separation anxiety and destructiveness when left alone too much. Sheds fur throughout the year and drools heavily. Does not do well in warmer climates. They have short lifespan of 8 to 10 years. Interesting facts. The breed is an excellent swimmer, robust and strong enough to save a grown man from drowning in the water. In the 1780s, Newfie almost lost its existence due to restriction imposed by the government that Canadian families need to pay taxes on one dog that they'll adopt. The Newfie had its comeback when the artist Edwin Landseer included the breed in his paintings. In fact, the black and white variety of the Newf was named after him. The painting titled, A Distinguished Member of the Humane Society, became famous. In addition to performing rescue work, the Newfie has served as a watchdog and companion and as a draft animal. One particularly famous Newfie was, Seaman, who accompanied American explorers Lewis and Clark on their expedition. The most famous Newf dog in literature is easily, Nana, the faithful protector of the darling children in J.M. Barry's Peter Pan. Newfoundland dogs have won the best in show at the Westminster Kennel Club twice. The largest Newf dog ever recorded weighed in at 260 pounds and it measured over 6 feet from its nose to the tip of its tail. A Newfie made an impressive appearance in the 2005 romantic comedy, Must Love Dogs, starring Diane Lane and John Cusick. Robert Kennedy had a Newfoundland named Brummis and President Ulysses Grant had a Newfie named Faithful. President Rutherford Hayes had a Newfie named Hector and James Buchanan had a Newfie named Lara. Newfoundland puppies are born with double coats which keeps them warm during freezing temperatures. Speaking of freezing temperatures, their double coats allow them to swim in cold waters. An unnamed Newfie is credited for saving Napoleon Bonaparte during his famous escape from exile on the island of Elba in 1815. Appearance. Giant, sturdy working dog with a big bone, impressive bearing, and webbed paws. Its head is dignified, and the expression is soft and profound. This dog has double coat that is flat and water repellent. The outer coat is lengthy and coarse, while the undercoat is smooth and dense. Its coat color may be solid black, brown, gray, or Lansier, black and white coat name after painter Edwin Lansier. The Newf is a large dog, with males standing at 28 inches and females at 26 inches. Male Newfie weighs between 130 to 150 pounds, while females are lighter at 100 to 120 pounds. On average, Newfs can live between 8 to 10 years. 
However, a very healthy Newfie may live up to 15 years. Grooming. Newfoundlands are prone to bad odor and can be bathed every other week. They should never be left unwashed for a maximum period of six weeks. Watch out for any mats and tangles around the thighs, ears, and tail. Teeth will need to be brushed at least three times a week, however vets recommend this is done daily. Don't forget to trim their nails every 10 to 14 days. Ears should be cleaned weekly to prevent any debris from building in the canal. They will need a thorough brush once a week. A pin brush, slicker brush, and grooming rake are the best tools to use on their coat. Shedding. Newfoundlands are moderate shedders, and they will shed more during spring and fall. The amount and frequency of shedding can be further increased during the shedding season which comes at least twice every year. It's highly recommended to regularly brush these canines with a slicker brush and a long-toothed comb so as to control the shedding. Most owners opt to hire a professional groomer since this gentle giant may be too much work. Baths should be done when necessary, about every one to two months or when they get really dirty. Newfoundland dog is not considered hypoallergenic. Cost. On average a Newfie puppy will cost $1,200 in the USA and most puppies can be found between $600 and $2,000. Newfie professionally trained is usually recommended and should cost around $150 to $200. The average price of a Newfie puppy in India is around 65,000 to 90,000 rupees. The price will vary depending on the breeder location, dog's bloodline, color, and age among other things. Prey drive. Typically, a Newfoundland's prey drive is low. Although there may be a minority of dogs that show an interest in prey. Exercise and trainability. It is essential for this dog to take leash training. He'll be grow to be a giant dog, and it might hard to control him later on if he's not properly trained. Aside from physical exercise, they also need mental stimulation. At home, you may give them puzzle toys to keep their minds busy. Harsh training methods will not work on the Newfoundland dog. They are sensitive and will become disinterested in their training. Affection, food, and toys can all be used to reward good behavior. Some owners use crate training as a way to housebreak their dogs. Ensure the Newf is given a suitable sized cage for an adult as they will grow quickly. Newfs enjoy participating in canine sports, such as carding, drafting, agility, dock jumping, flyball, herding, obedience, rally, and tracking. According to The Intelligence of Dogs, by Stanley Corin, Newfoundland is ranked 34. They understanding of new commands 15 to 25 repetitions and obey first command 70% of the time or better. Newfies are known to enjoy swimming in large water bodies a lot. These canines have webbed paws that help them to swim in deep waters. These pooches are natural swimmers and can be readily taken to a pool or to a beach by their owners. Barking. These pooches are not known to use their voice unnecessarily or without any reason. They mostly bark when they want to grab their loved one's attention or when they are guarding their homes. They also bark when they want to express their feelings or they want something from their family members. Weather and climate. The Newfoundlands have a subpar tolerance to heat. They can survive in moderately hot areas where the weather remains pleasant, warm and cozy. They can't live comfortably in excessively hot regions where temperature and humidity are always high. Newfie canine's tolerance to cold and low temperatures is excellent. These pooches can easily thrive in fairly chilly and snowy areas. They don't require a lot of care and protection from their owners in most of the cold and wintry regions. Friendliness. Newfies are excellent with small kids. These canines always remain very gentle and careful whenever they are around a small child. This large-sized dog loves to play a lot of games with children of all ages. However, their large size could accidentally injure smaller children, but never intentionally. Properly trained Newfie canines are quite friendly and affectionate with other dogs. They have pretty decent social skills and always happy to mingle with other pooches. They are quite warm and friendly with most of the other household pets including cats as well. These pooches are a great option for those people who want to raise a dog and a cat at the same time in their home. Newfoundlands are great with other people and strangers. They are highly sociable canines that love to meet new people. They always remain very gentle and kind to most of the new people that they encounter. Adaptability. Generally Newfies are not considered to be a great fit for the apartment life mainly due to their size. If all their exercise needs are properly fulfilled, then these pooches might do okay inside an apartment. 
The maintenance of such a large-sized breed might be a little overwhelming for some novice or first-time owners. If someone is ready to properly fulfill all the needs of these canines, then the Newfie can be a decent breed for any kind of owner. These pooches are pretty easy to train, highly sociable, extremely loyal and faithful to their loved ones. It is not a good idea to leave a Newfoundland canine alone for extended periods of time. They require the attention and company of their loved ones to remain happy. Without it, they can gradually become very demotivated, frustrated, incessant barking, and furniture chewing. Watchdog. Newfies are awesome guard dogs. They are highly loyal and protective of their family members and loved ones. They are known to defend their close ones against any kind of harm or danger. These canines are excellent watchdogs and can effectively alert their owners in case of any intruders, trespassers or burglars. Drooling. Newfies do drool a lot and can constantly slobber at most other times as well. They mostly drool quite heavily after finishing their meal or drinking their water. The owners of these canines to regularly clean their mouth with a soft cloth so as to avoid any skin allergies or issues. Health issues. For pups, don't let them engage in vigorous physical activities, such as cart pulling or jumping into hard surfaces. Their bones are not yet fully developed, making them prone to bone disorders. They are prone to heat stroke, so keep them with enough ventilation and access to water during hot weather. Nufi may also suffer from elbow and hip dysplasia, cystinuria, and subvalvular aortic stenosis, which is a heart defect involving heart valves. Conclusions. Nufi are the perfect dog for some people but are just not ideal for everyone. Consider getting a Nufi if you have the physical space for such a giant dog. Drooling doesn't bother you. There's a lake or beach nearby for your dog to swim in. You love playing with your dog in the park. You'd love to groom a giant ball of hair every day. Have you had any experience with Nufi? Tell me in the comment section. Thanks for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.